guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is day nine, I think. <laughs> Lol, day nine of my adventures here on this island. If in this world, this planet, if you've named it, I apologize that I haven't seen it yet because I am recording a little bit ahead of when you guys are seeing it. But yeah, having a great time on this world. Starting to become a lot less hostile. Feeling pretty good about it. You'll see I've done a few things since I've since you've been gone. Number one, you'll probably notice that I've got. A cool ace of spades. This is like a, an excavator, which I'll show you how I made in a second. Um, I've also found three red heart canisters and one yellow heart canister in the city, along with actually a whole bunch of other stuff too, including this jobby here, which is really cool. I don't know what it does, but look what it actually physically does in the display. It's really cool looking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to get into... Um, Pneumatocraft soon actually, so if that's useful, that will be cool. Uh, let's actually go out here. I don't think many changes here since you guys were last last around. Uh, I need to harvest a lot of this stuff again. Uh, I need to actually start thinking about getting um, automated food on the go, or at least crafting a food, because still making do with a lot of, I think, basic food elements. Um, so I might start to actually make a, a bit of a kitchen soon or something that will allow me to craft cool things getting a nice big house will be one of the first things on my list of things to do as well sunflower seeds are so awesome by the way i'll show you why in a minute uh not much else has been done oh hello not much else has been done out here i expanded well i guess i expanded this with uh lots of stuff i find in the city so i can do a lot of sm smelting in here which would be really good but i would like to try and work out this soon um I still need bricks for this, so that's a little bit unclear as to how I make this, but because I still need, oh, what's it called, scorched, I'll just quickly show you. I want to be, be a bit quicker today about stuff. I need to make scorched brick, which requires brick, so I need clay for that, and the only way I can make clay is with slag, and the only way I can make slag is with induction smelter, none of which is obvious or readily available on this world. But anyway, I also set up a quick little um, redstone clock uh, and a thing, so I've been smelting stuff, including getting some seared brick, which I probably shouldn't have done. But anyway, um, I also found some alumite, which is where I was able to smelt that down and make an like, excavator head, which is really cool, and one of these things. So that just made those out of gold. Uh, what else? Still, this is going on alright. The uh, bottles and stuff, you know, still just doing doing as I'm doing. Um, oh, yes, this is what I wanted to show you. I've started my new Minecraft seeds a little bit. Not perfect, but uh, it's get you know, I don't really know how to, not automate It's not the right word, but I don't really know how to make it more efficient than I've, than I've currently got it but anyway it's growing so when are they when they're at 13 status 13 is when they when you can break them and get two seeds oh i got three there so that's pretty cool so these ones are actually pretty cool the rain ones so actually before i go and do some stuff let's finish off some quests i think so this is my little pneumatic craft chest and i want these and these which i find in the uh, what she calls it, and I also want one of those because we want to. Oh, where's I put my book? Where's I put my book? Uh, I think I left it out here in a little chest before I went out exploring. Oh, don't tell me I've lost my book. Right, bear with me, guys. I gotta find my book. Well, I can't find it, but apparently there's a really simple crafting recipe. So I hope this gets me. I hope it's like tied to my player because that would be annoying if I lost quests. No, it's good. It's all tied to player. So I want to finish up this one. So I need to make a printed circuit board. And ooh, what are the what are the options we get for that? Oh, don't crash on me. Oh god. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have more problems with uh, my graphics card failing. It kind of brings an entirely new meaning to uh, crash landing. But anyway, uh, let's keep trying because I really want to keep complete keep playing this. Oh, it's such fun. All right, okay. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. The end of the beginning. Okay, which should I choose? Now, I want to go see if I had slime plant seeds. And I don't. So, I think I will choose slime plant seeds. And I'll get some iron ore dust out of it, too. Nice. So, let's put the iron ore dust in the dust chest. And the seeds in the seeds chest. Nice. And let's see what else has opened up. Awesome. So, getting chilly. So let's don't flux capacitor and a water bottle. Now, I think I actually have both of those, don't I? I do. Uh, and I should have a water bottle in. No, I don't, but anyway, that's easily got. And then I can just, put, I don't even know what this is for. Let's read what this is for. You may not have noticed it's more than a little warm on this planet, <laughs> really. Water on its own cools you by 0.05 and maxes out at 37. Cool water cools you by 0.1. 
and we'll give you hypothermia if you drink too much of it. Hmm. We'll get some snow and some iron ingots. Seems reasonable to me. I'm not sure if I need to, um, if I'll get to keep it or, well, we'll see. I didn't get to keep it, but that's all right. Um, select task. Oh, I needed four of those. Well, that's all right. It's easy to get four of them. Um, should be anyway. There we go. Climbing board. Awesome. So, pr provide me with enough power and some water and I can... Uh, before you don't lose this reward, you may only get one shot. Okay, so how do I... It's because I can make, then, a glacial precipitator. Okay. I do have a uh, machine frame, actually, from a previous quest. But I'm not really sure I want to use that on that. I think I'll just keep that safe for the moment. Uh, let's see. Iceberg. Okay, so it wants me to make one. Okay. Uh, and then I get to... Ooh, a high golem. And some cool water bottles. Hmm. Now, what's this? An ender generator. Is that something I can come close to making? Not really. <laughs> oh, actually, I could make that. Actually, I could totally make this. I could totally make that. But then, would that really be worth it? Hmm. Because ender pearls, I do, if you noticed, I did, like... Do I have things like, uh, what are they called? Uh, dollies? I do, and I can make the diamond dolly. Can I? Oh, I can't make the diamond dolly. That's a shame. Oh, so there's no way of moving spawners. Well, there might be, but, uh, hmm. What else? What other ways that we could, we have make, could we move spawners? We could do it with dark craft. I don't think there'll be a way of moving a spawner. Oh, well. So I'll need to go over there if I wanted to use the enderman seeds. I could also make a, like just a regular mob spawner. That would probably get me ender pearls. I might do that. Underwhelming. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting close. So a grinder and a reactant dynamo. Ooh, so we can, this would be useful for a mob thing. A oh, mob essence bucket and everything. Hmm. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, that's all good. But today, I think I want to try and do a couple of things. Number one, I'm really keen to try and get a chicken. Um, so let's quickly... See if we can make a little chicken pen, I guess. Do we have any glass? We do. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's get some more cobble, too. Oh, actually, let's make a bit of concrete. Because we got concrete now, so that's pretty cool. Um, where should I put it? 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 I should put it over here, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that would be that. Then I'd be able to put glass around it. Hmm. I didn't really do that, do that all that well, did I? <laughs> did I put my um, pickaxe here? I did. I did. Boop. And get in here and get rid of this one. Hmm. Oh well, what I'll do is I will just quickly move, well, not that quickly, but I'll quick, just, hello, noise, um, where can I, I can, st I can't steal that from that, I can steal it from down here, I'll just quickly do this a little bit, a few times, alloop, oh shit, alloop, looks like I'm not crashing, totally have jinxed it now, but it looks like I'm not crashing. Uh, that, and then I will do another sort of, actually, you know what, why, why was I even doing that? Let's just make it concrete. Then it will look quite nice, damn it. Oh well, I can just do that and take that out of the way. Now, let's try and get some chickens. So cross your, cross your fingers. This is such a waste of eggs. Damn it. Now, I definitely got chickens that way in my test world. And I was in, like, survival mode. So the only thing I can think of is either I was really unlucky, or there's something about the eggs you get from dust that makes you not not have them. Let's see how much eggs we've got down here. Let us see. So I've got tons of dust, as you can see. Seven more eggs. Yeah. Oh, we do get to make other cool things with eggs, though. This is the thing. So, like, eggs are really useful. 
Right, fuck it, no. I want chickens. I really, really want chickens. Then I can breed the chickens and other other things, basically. Uh, I can get a, an actual better source of eggs as opposed to just having to... Come on, give me a chicken. Oh, oh yes! <gasps> I got a chicken! Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, cool. So he can't be bred. <laughs> but apart from that, uh, I'll hopefully get some more eggs and maybe get another chicken and then I can breed them. And then we can have a chicken farm. Fantastic. Good progress all around, I think, guys, don't you? Right, so uh, I also made a bit of progress on... I'm trying to show you guys on this thing. Do I have any? I don't have any water. Oh, well, I'll have to go get that sorted out soon. Okay. You can probably see it from here, more or less. Make Using the Dire Vader. Dire Vader? Oops. <laughs> using the Ace of Spades, I've been able to um, get quite a bit of dust cleared out over here so continuing with that because this is where I want to make my new base I think um, at least part of it too I, I really want to try and make this into a whole oasis get a lot of dirt on the go a lot of grass blah -de blah -de blah -de blah -de blah I think I'll do a lot of that off camera so just to let you know this is where my base is hopefully gonna go get a nice sunset view and I'll turn the rest into a garden with trees and orchard and what the hell What's that is that coming from this my creeper plant seeds explode or something? Maybe. I don't know. Come on. Ooh, all the rain plants are there. Uh, this is still to grow. This is still to grow. Do I have my watering can on me? Let's get the watering can. Let's see if we can speed this up a bit. Because then I want to try and do some of the pneumatocraft stuff. Did I get more seeds for that? I did, I did, I did. Good, good, good. Because I am not. Qu I don't quite understand how the squid plant seeds work. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, is it going to grow anywhere? There it is, okay. If I go like right above it, it shouldn't really go too far away from the other thing. And same here. And then hopefully just grow them a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work. And then sometimes it works really well. Like the lightnings are all grown. The repulsions are getting there. The propulsions and the potions are all there. So uh, we need to make more end stone. Let me show you how I made end stone. Come on like sandstone uh, in uh, sandstone with some resin and ender which is basically just you melt you melt one of these bad boys in a thing so it's pretty straightforward um man. however though i've got a lot of dusts i've got a lot a lot a lot of dust now and i think i could get a lot of metals from this like that's two stacks of iron metal right there so that's not bad i would like to triple it though so i want to try and work out how this job works in the background too so, what I'm going to do now is we're going to work on the pneumatocraft stuff, though. We're going to work on the pneumatocraft stuff, because we got quite a bit of materials for that. So, first of all, let's get us some sand. Let's say maybe 16 sand. And start smelting that sand up. Don't have much char charcoal, but we're okay for that at the moment. So, start smelting the charcoal up. Then I want to get... I want to get some go away. To get some of this because the next thing on under pressure. I'm not sure how I managed to do this. It was basically you know you got your TNT and your stuff, but it seems to have happened somewhere. I'm not sure if it happened accidentally, but anyway, I got it, so that's good. Uh, heating it up. So now I need to make the pressure tubes. Now they are pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, they're not too bad. So just some that and that. Now, one of the things is a pressure gauge, and that's pretty straightforward to make too. It just needs some gold. So I think I might go for the reward bag. I think. Yeah, I think I will. So let's get one of these people. The glass. Let's get, an, you know what? Let's get another crafting table. Uh, there we go. Actually, I only, only need one, don't I? Hmm. <laughs> never have enough to, of these crafting tables especially these ones because they're so handy to just sort of like fit in little spaces in fact if i put it there I should still be able to open that so that'd be good okay so bang bang thank you ma'am pressure let's do this get the oh now we get an air compressor okay that hopefully won't be too hard no not too hard uh one two three four five six and a furnace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a lot of this from the city, which is really, really, really useful. In fact, I got some cool stuff from the city too. Did I show you? I got these two flux infused pickaxes. I haven't charged any of them yet, but you know, I'm getting there. A lot of metal, so we can make some really cool tools as well, hopefully. Um, make some manualin, actually. Uh, uh, what are we doing now? We're making the compressor, aren't we? So let's get that out of the way. Let's get this. Oh, no. Make a furnace first. And there we go. Awesome. One more thing to do? No. So I think we're going to claim get the, claim the reward bag. And let's see what's in it. We haven't got any reward bags in this one yet compared to um, Agrarian Skies. Ooh. None of them particularly useful because I've got most of them except Peanut. Peanut is really super useful. So that's good to know. That's good, actually. That's really good. Uh, let's get some more dirt. Do I have any more grass? Any more leaves in here? I don't. Do I have any more things in my inventory? I don't. Let's... Where should I put... Where should I put it? Where should I put it? Where should I put the peanuts? I am not using the, the cantaloupe enough. So let's put the peanuts there. Oh, actually, peanuts are super, 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 super useful. Bamboo shoots I've got over there. Grapes I've got. I've got. Strawberries I've got. Corn I don't have. That might be really useful. Onions I don't have. And lettuce. Oh, all this stuff's actually really useful. So let's try and find some space for those. I think I can probably get rid of... These two rows of tomatoes. I'm not using a lot of tomatoes. And let's use that for corn. I can probably get rid of these two rows of carrots and use that for lettuce and this these two rows of potatoes and use that for onion yeah I'll have like separate patches eventually but uh, still a little bit low on dirt so you know, gotta make do. Uh, can I just? What, I'm gonna bake some potatoes soon, actually. So let's put the strawberry seeds in there, grape seeds in there, cantaloupe, obviously. Tomato, I'll take with me. Probably just eat those. Tomato seeds, blah blah blah. blah. See, there's the bamboo shoots. So not too far off. Uh, a lot of the different things. So pretty good, pretty good. We got some food. Interesting, good. Not bad at all. Let's get the glass out of there and let's get some potatoes baking because we can make cool things with baked potatoes. I think. Man, all my chests are getting really busy. Let's eat this cantaloupe. Let's eat an entire melon. <laughs> right, I was doing something. <laughs> Goodness me, I can't remember what it was. Right, yeah, good. Oh, opened up another thing. So we need to make a pressure gauge tube. So hopefully that will be pretty straightforward. Pressure gauge tube. It's G-A-U, isn't it? There we go. So we need to make one of these. That should be pretty straightforward. Iron, uh, iron and gold, dude. Oh, I'm so happy that I got like most of that, um, most of that, uh, all of that like compressed iron in the city. It's made this part of these tasks a lot easier. Uh, and then that's just, isn't it? That plus that plus redstone. So should be okay. I think. Doof doof. Pressure gauge tube. Thank you very much. Claim reward. Some more compressed iron. Very good. Pressure chamber. So one pressure chamber. I couldn't mine these from the thing. I don't know if they needed a special thing. But anyway, the most basic thing is making a pressure chamber. Almost all the basic building blocks of pneumatic craft are made here. Made there. Check. Any eye as usual for the needed recipes. Start with a 3x3 three three pressure chamber. The pressure chamber must be connected. Okay, so I'll need to learn how to build it. Ooh, four pneumatic servos. Uh, I've got squid plant seeds. I've plastic. Mm, I'm not sure how that would be useful. I think I might go for machine upgrades. So one valve, one window, and one wall. So far, at least, but we'll see. So let's look up pressure chamber, wall, window, and valve. And what's this interface? So that's that. That's that. And that's that. Okay, so. Need quite a bit of this stuff. You know what, actually, I should probably, yeah, let's let's put this here, and that way I can open up the chest, get the inventory of the chest beside it, which is really useful. 
So that's that should be enough for almost enough for three of these things. So we need to get that, then we need to get that, and then we need to get that. And then that should be that, making it work. Got that, I need, <laughs> I need one plastic. Okay, so we need to make the chamber now and show that it works. Okay, so let me take some time to, to like read this and read about a ch pressure chambers thing and try and get it working. So I'll be right back once I've worked that out. All right guys, so this is the pressure chamber, I believe. <laughs> I think I've got one working anyway. So let's go try to put some coal in it because I want to make some stuff with this soon. Um, or at least I'm going to try anyway. So uh, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? I'm going to get some coal, I think. Let's get like a block of coal, of charcoal. Can we get blocks of charcoal, is that a thing? Is, that a th is char blocks of charcoal a thing? They might not be. They are, awesome. It's from Tinkers, good, good, good. And I think that should work, because I think any heat source should work. Where, oh, come on. Oh man, why is this escaping? Where do I actually put the tube? Is it from the bottom, maybe? Maybe it's only the bottom? I can't get the... Ah, oh, it's at the back. Damn it. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> so that's that one. Okay, right. Let's... I should have had a look there, shouldn't I? And... There we go. Hopefully it's at least sort of connecting, I think. I still hear it escaping, which is a bit worrying. Oh, that's why, because it's like... Not connecting there. It's, it's looping around. Come on, where's it escaping from now? So we're not building pressure up, but yet it should be going in. Where is it escaping from? I can hear you escaping, Precha. Oh, it's escaping from the valve. Damn it. <laughs> I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Uh, can I just... No. <laughs> it appears that does not work. Uh, maybe I can just mine this and turn it round, maybe? Because I didn't want to have to craft an entire other, an, an entire other thing, set of th set of thingies. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we've got that in there. Let's get this out of here. Let's get actually. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mine. Get it out of the way. Oh. God, I was moving so fast there. Come on, I think it's because I'm on concrete. It's probably not the best thing to have. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. Okay, so pressure chamber wall could go here, anywhere, and pressure chamber wall could go there. Okay, so basically the concept of this is we build up pressure with this. Um, is pressure building up? It is. And we put pump it into the pressure chamber. Now, and then we can craft stuff with pressure chamber stuff in in man i should no i need to change this concrete is too um like speedy <laughs> damn it i didn't mean to put a pressure chamber on there damn it, it's going to take ages to mine so we build up pressure we put it inside the pressure chamber and we can use that stuff to craft but each time we break it to get in and get the items back we obviously kind of lose a lot of pressure because that's the way pressure systems work. They have to be in closed circuits. We can fix that with these pressure chamber interfaces, but they require a decent amount of compressed iron, which I think we've got, and this. So I'm going to require one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two of these, so I'm going to require 12 of those. So I need to make that in the pressure chamber. Now we don't need an awful lot of pressure to do that, but we still need 12 Raincraft seeds.